Merry Christmas Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of December 18th through the 24th. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising Signs. So Libra, for this reading I'm using the Wheel of the Year Tarot deck along with the messages from your Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Interesting. So at the bottom of the deck, Libra, I do have the Ten of Swords. All right. So with the Ten of Swords, for me, the Ten of Swords represents the ending to a difficult period, a difficult time within your life. So some of you, the worst is now behind you. The worst is over with. Uh, you are just about ready to start a new cycle or a new chapter of your life. So if you're a Libra and that just went through a difficult time, you are actually moving forward onto that next chapter, that next cycle. Now, the overall energy is the lover's card. And so for some of you, yes, maybe a relationship could be significant here this week. A partnership, a relationship could be significant. For other Librans, maybe you have a decision to make. Some of you might have a decision or a choice to make here this week. Um... For a small number of you, there definitely could be a situation involving three people. Uh, I'm definitely getting that here. Obviously, that's not going to be for all of you, but there could be some Librans that I'm reading for this week that there could be a situation involving three people. It could be romantic in nature, but it doesn't have to be. It could be, you know, a family matter. It could be a business matter. But there definitely could be a situation involving three people. That's significant here. And so some of you maybe need to make a decision this week. Um, with the Seven of Cups energy here, this is that dreamy sort of energy. It can be a confusing sort of energy. Just make sure that you're seeing things realistically. Uh, some of you might need to ground yourself some of you maybe have a lot of options on the table. So definitely needing to narrow it down, needing to be realistic. Some of you might need to make an important decision, but you have a lot of like options or choices in front of you. And then we also have the devil and then we have the moon. So there could I'm be- I'm not sure I understand. Oh, I apologize, Libra. That's my phone talking. Um, for some of you, there could be some fear here um, with the devil and the moon. There could be some fear, but I'm definitely not getting that for many of you. But there could be some fear here, especially those of you that need to make a decision. Maybe there's some nervous energy or some fear. And so my suggestion would be for you to, you know, talk to people. If you have friends, family around you, talk to people but also spend some time alone. I feel like some of you need to spend some time alone. You do have a lot of spiritual energy around you. So ask you know, your angels, your guides for their help. Pray if you like to pray. Um, and with the star here, really needing to stay positive, really needing to stay optimistic when it comes to this. And that in particular is for those of you that are experiencing some fear around making a decision. Some of you definitely, definitely could even be overthinking things. And with the devil, you know, with the devil, the moon, the lover's card, again, there could be a situation involving three people. There could be some Librans that maybe you feel stuck, maybe you've met someone, and maybe they're still married, something like that. Some of you might feel stuck within a situation, but with the star, again, you know, very much needing to stay positive. And at this time, really, really rely upon your intuition. Your intuition is speaking you, to you. We have the star, we have the moon. Your intuition is absolutely speaking to you at this time. And so some of you, you know, maybe a Capricorn is significant. Capricorn could be an Aquarius, could be a Pisces or a Cancer, or a water sign person that's significant. With the Seven of Wands here, very interesting how we have the Seven of Wands, which is what I call that warrior spirit. 
And this is someone who knows what it is that they want. They're not about to quit anytime soon. They're not backing down. Um, it can be someone who's not going to compromise. And you know, we have the seven of wands energy with the nine of pentacles. So the nine of pentacles for me is very much my single status card. So, you know, there could be some Librans that I'm reading for, and maybe you're in the in the process of getting a divorce, and maybe things are up in the air with this moon energy. There could be a lot of confusion or a lot of uncertainty when it comes to, you know, the future, what the future holds. But some of you, you know, this could be you really wanting to be single, you know, doing whatever you have to do to be single. There could be some Librans you're waiting on, maybe a legal decision, something like that. Again, you know, try not to worry so much. We have this Eight of Swords, and I never like to see the Eight of Swords with the Moon in the same spread, because I think that some of you are definitely dealing with some anxiety, some fear, some nervous energy, some confusion. Could be a fear of the unknown. You could be overthinking things. This is that mental energy. So some of you definitely experiencing some emotional some mental energy here this week so again it's going to be important for you to ground yourself to maybe spend some time alone just for you to stay grounded get outside if it's warm get outside sit in the grass uh, communicate with your angels your guides pray if you like to pray because I do think that things are about to move forward here with the three of wands threes are about growth and expansion and so I don't feel like this is energy that's going to linger. I don't feel like this is energy that's going to come with you into the following week here. I feel like this is, you're moving away from this. The energy is going to shift. There could be some things that you're unaware of that could be coming to light in the near future. And with this energy, as long as you're willing to work hard, so don't give up, which I don't I don't feel like you're going to. So don't give up, stay positive, and don't back down with however you resonate with this, you know, however you relate to these messages here. If this is a relationship, if this is a divorce that you want to be final, could also be something financial for some of you. You know, don't back down, don't give up, just work hard, stay focused. Keep yourself grounded. Remember with that Ten of Swords, this is all a cycle. This is, you're putting all of this behind you. You're ready to move forward to that next chapter. Um, but for some of you, a decision might be needed here. So, you know, there could be some Librans that you've been hanging on to maybe a relationship, a uh, person hanging on to something that's maybe no longer serving you, it's not good for you. There could be fear again here. And with the Eight of Swords and the Moon, there could even be like a lack of self-esteem, you know, a, a fear when it comes to moving forward. You know, very nervous, very fearful when it comes to moving forward, but you know, you got this, you got this. Um, some of you, it's a matter of you staying positive. That's really what's needed. But let's pull you an additional guidance card, Libra. What else does Libra need to know? Libra, additional guidance for Libra for this upcoming week. All right, so I'm actually gonna choose from these cards. Okay, wow. I think this confirms everything I just said. We have Isaiah. It is a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. So I just was speaking about how you're ending a cycle. You're moving on to that next cycle. And so with, with Isaiah, it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, protecting you during these changes, which is that spiritual protection. And so some of you, what can really help you this week is really preparing for the future, getting ready for that next chapter. You know, really working on putting all of this behind you. 
Okay, Libra, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttarot.com. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care.